Sly Gittens here with a Myth Busters featuring RSA Secure ID Access. This is your exclusive inside look into RSA Secure ID Access and also demystifying a lot of the rumors that's out there and providing you with the facts versus fiction. Again, my name is Sly Gittens. I'm a technology consultant. I talk about this every single day, right? But one thing to note, I'm not representing RSA or Ingram Micro during this training. This is strictly from my experience, and I'm going to make sure to fill it with proof so you know for sure what RSA Secure ID Access can do for you. So let's get into it. Myth one, RSA only offers hardware and software tokens. That is absolutely false. We can do two-factor authentication, multi-factor authentication, so MFA when you see that acronym. So that's push notification, biometrics, fingerprinting, iPrint, SMS, voice, email, FIDO tokens, and much more, right? We can do everything else, such as those features that I mentioned before. So not only can we do tokens and softwares, we can do you know, push notifications, fingerprinting. Why do I keep repeating this? Because I often hear when I go into accounts that, hey, we don't want to talk about RSA because we don't want to do, our users don't want to have a hardware token. We don't want to have a software token. But the answer is they don't have to. We have something called risk-based authentication that takes in behavior analytics, which is tokenless. So um, that's one thing I want to knock out the part. That's completely false that we only support hardware and software tokens because we do it all. Myth two, RSA Secure ID Access only protects on-premise applications. Again, and something that I see often when I go out to accounts, that this is what they think. We are number one when it comes into those on-premise installations, but we also can protect the cloud. So Amazon, Dropbox, Salesforce, these solutions can be also secure, such as your Windows desktop or your your um, VPN, whether that be a Citrix NetScaler, a FortiGate, you might have uh, ASA. We can knock those things down and so much more. One three that makes me laugh sometimes when I hear it when I come in there. You know what? We don't like RSAs because they want you to use their own solution and they don't play well with other third-party integrations. Completely false. We have a whole um, domain community that's focused to integrations. I mean, out of the box, certified, fully supported integration guys. When I mean that, RSA and Cisco talked about and certified RSA being able to, to provide two factors to Cisco ASA. This is out of the box integration, and they provide you step by step guidance. So a good example of this, I just finished building out our data center and I integrated with a Cisco ASA. I have no background in deploying a Cisco ASA, right? So I had to bring in one of my engineers for that, right? But I can do the authentication because I was able to use the guide and I'm going to show you that today because you need proof to believe what I say because anyone knows that someone tells you something and they can't prove it, is it really true? And let's get into it, right? So doesn't it feel great to know the facts? Because you're about to know the facts. So I need you to get excited. Let's go. So first thing first, I'm going to welcome you to the RSA single sign-on portal where I have some of my applications that we can see today. Um, at the moment, what I'm doing right now is reconnecting my cell phone. There you go. You can see it on the screen. So I can show you proof that this stuff works. All right? So let me get out of here. This is the RSA Secure ID Access app, the Authenticate app. What allows you to do, these are one-time passcodes, or OTP, that I have here. You also, from this app, can do fingerprinting and eye scanning, which I'm going to show you right now. So 50 cents. I know 50 cent, but you know I don't want to get sued, so I said 50 cents, plural. So we're going to do Dropbox integrated. He needs access for his new show power, and he has it in Dropbox for Enterprise. 
So before we give him access to make sure is because we don't want to see the new season, either we can know that 50 Cent lives in New York, so I can click allow and it'll allow me into the application, but I don't want to do this in this case. So if it's taking too long, it's like, you know what, we're not going to take that route. How are we going to do this? Let's do um, additional authentication required. So now it's going to reach out to my cell phone right now and let me know that I have um, additional things right here. Come on. That's my dog, Zeus, and it's about to happen shortly. Let's go on the phone. Let's hit this refresh button right here. Pull it down. It's going to show me. All right. How am I going to integrate right now? So I chose for this one to use eye scanning because I can't have anyone get their hands on power season five. I just got in there. And if I want to remember the browser, I could, but I'm not for this instant because this is a public computer. I do not want it to remember this browser. I'm in here. I can grab, 50 Cent can grab his, um, his power season five. He did it secure. It wasn't clunky. It was an easy, simple integration, right? Would you agree? I know you're agreeing right now, even though you can, I can't hear you right now. I, I can see you smiling. I can feel you smiling. All right, let's go take a look at something like Amazon. Well, Amazon, I want to make quick decisions. I want to do a quick rollout. I don't have time to do authentication. So I just want, once I get into that single sign-on from RSA, I just want them to pass me through because I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any type of authentication to get in there. Of course, we could add additional policies on there, which I'm going to show you a little bit today. Um, but I just want to go through. I'm in quick, fast. See how fast that was? See how smooth that was? See how simple that was? That's what I wanted to let you know. This is what your end user is going to feel when you use RSA Secure ID Access. And now I told you, like, Sylvester, you know what? I still don't believe you that you have integrations. All right, let's take a look at it. RSA Community. Let's get in there, RSA link. This is a public-facing link. So you can see this right now. You can do this with me, and we can see what we have integration to. So let's get to Amazon. I want to do an Amazon integration. I want to see what RSA solutions work with this. Boom. I can see not only can I use um, NetWitness with Amazon, I can use Secure ID Access, and I can use gov Governance and um, Lifecycle solution. But I just want the SAML integration guide because I want to do exactly the cool thing that Sylvester just did. And let's open it up. It's going to show me how to configure the RSA, um, RSA um, admin interface. And it's also going to show me how to integrate with the um, Amazon AWS interface, step by step on how to do it. Once you finish that, you can set the policy and add it to the application, right? So let's actually see that admin policy. I'm right in here now. Take a look at my applications, and now you can see all the applications that I had in here. And let me go show you that it looks exactly the same as what I show you the guide, right? Step by step, and then I'm all done. And then if I want to add someone to it, I can set up a medium assurance and policy. You're like, Sylvester, what's medium assurance? I'm not going to give you everything today, but these are some of the things that we can do here. Low assurance, fingerprint approved. I can do... Um, I print, but I could do more if I wanted to, right? I can also do an and versus an or. I could do conditional statements if I add, a, add it to the policy. So these are some of the things that I can do within it. And when, every time you saw it's kept asking for my location, the reason why it's asking that because I set up my home office. If I would have clicked the button, it would allow me permission because I set up a home office and I can slide right in there. And you can do this for your networks as well and so on and so forth. Um, this is it for this training. Hope you loved it. Hope you're excited. I hope you're pumped. I gave you the facts. Don't listen to the liars, the, the storytellers, but this is what RSA can provide you. Cloud for all your application, I mean, authentication for all your application, whether it's in the cloud or whether it's on-premise. We can also integrate with third-party applications like I showed you. And not only... We also got more than one way you can authenticate because I showed you one already, right? I showed you the ability for our other authenticators, and the proof is in the pudding. This is Sly Gittins with a Myth Buster episode featuring RSA Security Access. If you love it, uh, make sure to like it. Make sure to comment. Let me know what else you want to see. I could do another training if you want. Talk to you later, 
and have a wonderful day.